I know you make the point that, look, there's inflation. That's pretty obvious, right? Uh, the, the other thing a lot, everybody's talking about is whether or not we're in a recession. Uh, you think we're not, I know, and you think it's more of a 2023 story, right? Yes, that's right. It's really remarkable how much uh, talk there is about how we're maybe already in recession and apparently a majority of the American public to tell posters they believe that, whereas uh, I think it's very unlikely that that's true, that, that we're already in recession, uh, more likely to come over the next two years at some point. Jeffrey, how concerned are you about uh, a hard landing uh, for the housing market? Well, the housing market is the most vulnerable sector. Uh, even aside from the, how high house prices are uh, in, in any uh, recession, or I should say in a, in a kind of uh, uh, garden variety recession, which this would be if it comes. Uh, the kind of recessions we had, uh, the last two have been quite unusual, the global financial crash and the uh, coronavirus. Before that, uh, for most of the previous recessions, you could say were brought about by uh, the economy overheating or threatening to overheat and the Fed raising interest rates to uh, cool it off. And, uh, and, and part of that process is that the housing uh, generally gets hit uh, early and, and pretty hard. Uh, the consumer is two thirds of the US economy and uh, the consumer is getting hit on multiple fronts because of uh, inflation. How resilient or otherwise is the consumer, uh, Jeffrey, by your uh, reckoning? And when you consider the savings rate, uh, how would you describe the health of the consumer moving forward? Well, we've got a really uh, split uh, situation here. Uh, consumer confidence by both of the official or standard measures is, is down. Uh, it's down to a record low, according to the University of Michigan measure. And people clearly are upset, uh, but they're mainly upset about inflation. If you look at the statistics, uh, growth has been pretty strong. Employment uh, in, in particular continues to be strong. And I would argue that even uh, real growth GDP and by various uh, indicators has been strong. In terms of the households who feel particularly hit by higher prices for uh, filling up their, uh, their, their tanks for their cars and uh, groceries, uh, which you know, lower income people do spend a disproportionately higher percentage of their income on those things. And so that's, that, that does account for some of the uh, uh, concern. But uh, real personal income is, uh, is still, according to the latest numbers that I've seen, is still growing along with other, other indicators. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.